If you're uh, UFC brass, what do you do with Connor right now? Well, so there was because you know they're they're doing before you answer. You know they're doing, and I know you're being freaking. You've been all over, so maybe you do know this, maybe you don't. I don't. I don't mean to disrespect you here. So Tony Ferguson versus Khabib, yep. Nigga Murdoff, right for the interim title interim. at 155. Uh, Aldo, obviously the champ right now, so you have to re- relinquish that belt. He's talking about the the Floyd Mayweather fight. He's even talked about fighting Woodley. What do you do with him? Okay, well, first off, I think there is legs to the Mayweather thing. And so many people are naysayers. Yeah, but I think there is some legs there. (laughs) Historically, what you need for a big fight to happen is for the athletes to agree. That's the hard thing. Once you have the fans on board, you need the athletes to agree. Getting the promoter to come to the table is the easiest thing in the world, but we're not finding a promoter that quite wants to make this fight yet. Um, Dana has now become that promoter. In some level, but I don't know how serious he is about it. So, you know, let, let's see where that whole thing goes. But it is all out of order. It's like, wait a minute, you got the best in this world versus the best in this world. There's a storyline there, and they want to do it, and we can't make it happen. I've never seen that before, where there's a mega fight that the athletes have agreed to, and the promoter doesn't come in and make it happen. So, uh, everything's a little out of order there. I think Connor's probably going to do whatever he wants to do if if they do have a presence going to Russia. Uh, and you know there was just a meeting with Dana and Ari went out and, and we're at the Krem- uh, excuse me Kremlin trying to bring MMA there. Then Khabib versus Connor would make a lot more sense in if they Russia. were to go to Moscow. And if you're if you're managing Connor, would is that the fight you would do next? Hey, that those guys don't appear to say no. I mean, a Connor comes out and says I'll fight anybody and all this stuff, and a lot of guys do that, but then they don't behind closed doors. He appears to be a guy that really will. I don't think he matches up well with him, but I didn't think he matched up well with with Chad or Eddie or Jose for that. I matter. didn't think he matched up well with Eddie, and they starched him. Like you know, what? I can't doubt this guy. Nobody anymore. kicks Eddie Alvarez's ass. You, there's like guys that. that can beat him. Nobody runs over Eddie. Not Alvarez. like that. Not like I've never that. seen anything like ever. That. And, you know, Connor couldn't have been coming in there just full of confidence. He had lost a fight. Then he had a very close split decision that he won. I mean, he went out there like it was just a brand new day and took care of business. I, if if I'm managing Connor, what I would do next is the Floyd Mayweather fight. Yeah. I would because, Floyd. remember, Floyd's the promoter. Right. And then Dana's the promoter. I think Dana would want it to happen. And they have this $4 billion nut that they need. They have no stars, really. They need to make this up somehow. Nate, if there's if there's no Floyd Connor talk, what's the hottest thing going on right now in the MMA world? Go. <sighs> wow, yeah, no, Chael Tito. Yeah, that's it. You, I tell you, it can name be tough. something else we'd be talking about. Yeah, I can't. We gonna harp on Ronda losing again? You want to talk about John Jones? I'm, there's really nothing else to talk about. Yeah, and they have this huge nut, and they they need these stars. Well, if you make that fight happen, you're talking about the biggest pay-per-view of all time yeah i fully agree with that i fully agree with that and so many people particularly from the boxing world going we don't want to see that fight it's like really you don't you don't find that compelling that your guy is going to step in against our guy this is why because they have everything to lose we have nothing to lose yeah connor and i think if this does happen i think it goes 12 rounds he gets out class he lands a couple good shots losing a decision cool our MMA guy just went 12 rounds, was supposedly the best of all time, and he's taking 100 mil. And then your guy's supposed to be the best? We can hang with it. Yeah. And then, so even if Connor loses that, we get all the promotion from boxing, MMA world. So you have these huge numbers. And then Connor goes and fights Khabib in Russia. Sure. It's a huge problem if Connor makes it any amount of time because don't forget the reality is he's never done it he does not have an amateur or a professional boxing background. i thought he had an amateur boxing background if he has one i'm not aware of it i don't know that I he's actually he been in the ring and he could come in from ireland either know? way yeah. compared to floyd you get the point yeah, i mean even finding a commission <laughs> if you get a commission to sanction this and you would but if you get that to happen, it does speak to a bit of corruption. They're supposed to match up even guys. You can't bring in a guy that's 49-0 and 0 against a guy who's never done it uh, and, and put that fight on. Yeah, but Connor's bigger. He's the bigger guy. He's fighting a smaller guy in Floyd Mayweather. Connor's younger, quicker. Floyd's older, you know? So there, you can see it. So, this is me trying to sell the fight. You don't have to convince <laughs> me.